He told the court he was doing 98 kilometres an hour on his electric scooter to get to work on time. It didn't help. Owen Badgie copped one of the toughest penalties ever handed out. Hello, Owen. You left your scooter at home today, have you? Owen Reed Badgie is the man on board this e-scooter with no helmet on, whizzing past a startled cyclist. Scott Lewis captured the footage on one of his regular rides on a bikeway beside Brisbane's Western Freeway. I just had this massive rush be beside me and I just could not believe my eyes, so I was just shocked. Scott provided a current affair with the video in October. It captured the rider again later after falling off his machine from a tyre blowout and explaining how fast he was going. You know how fast you were going? 94. 94. Yeah, trying to get to work. An eagle-eyed, a current affair viewer provided a tip-off of the rider's alleged identity and police moved in for an arrest a month later. We're here in relation to a dangerous operation of a motor vehicle incident that occurred on the 12th of September 2022. It turns out Owen Badgie works at an e-scooter shop and was even a one-time spokesperson for the company. People just want to go fast now. Now the 36-year-old from Goodna faced the cameras under different circumstances, oh, appearing in court for the first time. What have you got to say about this charge that you're facing? Me, myself, I put myself at risk and I could have hurt myself seriously. But at the end of the day, I'm just a guy that was scared trying to get his job done. Owen Badgie told a magistrate that he was speeding to get to work at his second job after missing a train. Uh, do you think it's safe to ride a scooter at 94 kilometres an hour? Technically, I wasn't riding that fast when I passed that gentleman. How quick were you going? Only 48. 48? Yeah, but still. He did admit to hitting 90 plus on a straight section with no one else nearby. The Dragon Warrior X11 he was riding is more like a motorbike than scooter. Weighing 50 kilograms, it's built to go off-road with a top speed listed of 100 kilometres per hour. They've already been involved in serious accidents like this one on the Gold Coast that left a rider with critical head injuries. There's not much margin for error at that kind of speed though, is there? Yes, I know that. I made a terrible mistake and I have to look at the consequences that I made. Normally, e-scooter riders caught speeding are given a fine. The maximum in Queensland is $575. But because the speed in this case was so excessive, police charged Owen Badgie with dangerous operation of a motor vehicle. What would you like to say to the cyclist who you whizzed past that day? I'm very sorry that I scared him, and I hope that he enjoys what he loves doing best. After pleading guilty to dangerous operation of a motor vehicle, Owen Badgie was hit with a mandatory six-month disqualification of his driver's licence. The magistrate gave him the minimum sentence for the charge, noting he suffered significant injuries to himself in the crash and nobody else was hurt. Badgie avoided a fine after explaining he was sacked from his second job over the police charge. He emerged from Brisbane Magistrates Court chastened after copping one of the strongest penalties ever handed out to an e-scooter rider in Australia. What would you say to other scooter riders out there after that sentence you've received today? Um, at the end of the day, you're only putting yourself at risk. Me, myself, I've, I risked way too much and I made a really big loss today. Think about what's going to happen. You might have someone that loves you or cares about you. You might lose your life, you never know. Exactly, a lesson learned and it's a clear warning. Police say they are cracking down on scooter riders speeding or not wearing helmets.